The storm clouds are gathering here in Ambleside and across much of northern England now. And no surprise, today again we've reached 30 degrees Celsius in the southeast, the seventh consecutive day at 30 or above, and that is record breaking here for September. But as I say, we've got those storms brewing to the south. We've got change on the way, so it'll be the last day of 30 degrees above, which is good news if, like me, you're finding it a little too stifling. It's behind that weather front currently in the north where we'll find that relief. Might have to wait until Tuesday. Tuesday in the south. But there it is, giving a wet day across the northwest of Scotland. These showers are turning more potent. So there are warnings out at the moment from the Met Office for those across much of England and Wales. Northern Ireland expected to see some downpours along with southern and eastern parts of Scotland. And we're talking torrential downpours. But in between, still some sunshine as well but probably a lot more cloud than we've been used to, but still enough to have allowed those temperatures to climb locally into the low 30s, generally a couple of degrees down, but it's still humid out there, really muggy for most parts. And that continues overnight, as do those thunderstorms, which could lead to sudden flash flooding. The warning details are on the website, but frequent lightning around those storms, which, as I say, will continue through the evening and overnight, eventually easing in the south and eventually through Scotland moving into the North Sea. But our weather the front is still with us, so some wetter weather overnight into Scotland, Northern Ireland, murky as well. Some mist and some fog further south because the humidity is still high. Temperatures again mid to high teens in some places, so a really close night for sleeping, uncomfortably so. Mist and fog in the morning, a little bit slow to clear. Then we've got our weather front, which might well weaken, but we'll see some showers and thunderstorms triggered ahead of that, potentially not as widespread as today. And it brightens and freshens, notably, behind that weather front. So we do have that relief, brighter day, drier day for the north and west of Scotland as well as fresher, but still 26, 27 in that muggy air in the south. Remember, the fresher air is behind our weather front, which is still slowly trundling southwards as we go through tomorrow night and into Tuesday. But look at the temperatures, a lot fresher further north, still uncomfortably muggy and humid in the south. Eventually, it looks as if that weather front will move its way southwards during Tuesday into southern and eastern areas. Much drier, brighter, much fresher for northern England as well by that stage in Wales. And temperatures, despite the clouds, still 21, 22 in the south. So it's Tuesday night that we look as if we'll clear away finally that more humid air, that northerly breeze blowing that weather front out the way. We could have a touch of frost in the glens of Scotland as we get towards Wednesday morning and notably more comfortable further south. So that's the big change. Otherwise, Wednesday looks like a fairly dry and bright day. It's not really a washout this week, but we do have more rain pushing in later in the day. But for most, still very pleasant high teens, low 20s, such is the strength of the September sunshine. But then through Wednesday night and into Thursday, not just rain, but some stronger winds as well. We haven't had that for a while either, pushing across much of the UK, but probably not reaching southern and eastern areas and clearing away further north. So again, we could see 22 possibly the 23 in southern and eastern areas. Still that fresher weather further north. Of course, it won't be as humid. And then come Friday, it might be that we see another pulse of rain invigorated on that weather front. But the devil's in the detail for the week ahead. Either way, change is on the cards.